Syria's opposition and government have met briefly face to face in what is being hailed a small but significant step in talks aimed at saving Syria. The initial gathering in Geneva lasted half an hour mediated by the UN's Lake Darbrahimi, reports said. Delegates in Geneva are aiming at small concessions, not a full peace deal. Ending terrorism and violence is the top priority, Syrian officials say. They insist it is too early to discuss President Bashir al-Assad's position. The BBC's Lena Senjeb, in Geneva, says diplomatic efforts are concentrating on trying to build confidence between the two sides with small achievements like localized ceasefires, release of detainees and the opening of humanitarian corridors. There is hope that such steps will pave the way for the discussion of wider issues like political transition next week, although there has been no sign of common ground on this so far. Shortly after the meeting, the chief of staff to the leader of Syria's national coalition, Manzer Akbak, claimed that the transition process had started in earnest. Today we had the chance to speak directly to regime. You know dictators usually, they don't like to listen. But today they had to listen to us and to the voice of the Syrian people that they want transition from dictatorship to democracy. However Syria's ambassador to the UN Bashir Yafari, part of the government delegation, earlier told the BBC that it was too early to talk of Mr. Assad stepping down and that the issue was not the priority. Item number one should be putting an end to the terrorism and to the violence, he said. The envoy said the common ground between the parties should be that we should talk about everything, everything, without any selectivity, and no preconditions and no hidden agendas. But he accused the coalition delegation of harboring personal hatreds towards the government for whatever reasons. Syria's civil conflict has claimed well over 100,000 lives since it began in 2011. The violence has also driven 9.5 million people from their homes, creating a major humanitarian crisis within Syria and for its neighbors. Encouraging discussions. The delegates are still not prepared to talk to each other directly, but are expected to communicate via Mr. Brahimi. The two sides entered and left the room for their initial meeting through separate doors and were due to meet again at 1600 hours local time, 1500 hours GMT, for discussions on humanitarian matters. Preliminary talks began on Wednesday in Montreux, and Mr. Brahimi spent Thursday and Friday attempting to persuade both sides to agree to meet face to face. On Friday, the government's delegation reportedly threatened to quit the talks unless serious discussions were scheduled for Saturday. The opposition and government are fundamentally divided over the aims of the conference. The government delegation has said the main issue of the talks is finding a solution to foreign-backed terrorism, by which it means the whole of the armed opposition. The opposition, however, had insisted that the regime commit in writing to the 2012 Geneva I communique, which called for a transition process. The communique urged Syria to form a transitional governing authority that could include members of the present government and the opposition and other groups.